the Razor Clam Educational Program of the Washington State Department of Fisheries. people flock to the beaches of Washington State to dig razor clams. If you are one of these people, the next few minutes will provide you valuable information on how to find, dig, and clean razor clams. It includes facts on many of the state laws regulating clam diggers and stresses the need for conservation of this important natural resource. The Pacific razor clam lives on beaches from Northern California to the Aleutian Islands in Alaska. But the largest population available for digging are found on over 60 miles of wide sandy beaches in Washington state. There are five major clam digging beaches from the Columbia River north to Claylock. Beginning on the south, the Long Beach Peninsula. Long Beach stretches from the Columbia north to the entrance to Willapa Bay. Going north is Grayland Beach. Grayland is immediately south of Westport and includes Twin Harbors State Park. North of Grays Harbor is Capelas Beach. Capelas extends from ocean shores to the mouth of the Capelas River. The final two beaches are Mock Rocks and Claylock, a small beach north of the Quinault Indian Reservation. Mock Rocks stretches from the Capelas River on the south to the Quinault Reservation on the north. If you want to try your hand at digging, you will need a license and some basic equipment. The license may be obtained from the Department of Fisheries or from merchants and civic organizations along the coast for a small additional fee. The license must be attached to an outer garment and visible while digging. For digging, dress comfortably for the weather. Many hardy souls like to dig in shorts and bare feet. Others use hip boots, especially for surf digging. And a few folks prefer chest-high waders and rain gear. All diggers should allow for rain and cold weather, and for night digging, you will need a kerosene lantern. Now, if you're all set, let's dig a few clams. When a razor clam is disturbed by stomping a foot or the pounding of a shovel, it will rapidly retract its neck, leaving a depression in the sand. This depression is called a clam show. Clam shows have a number of different appearances, depending on the depth of the clam, the compactness of the sand, and whether it's in dry sand or the surf. A dimple is the most common show. As you see here, it is a gentle depression in the sand. The keyhole is a deep hole with distinct sides and a distinctive shape. The donut has raised sides and it usually indicates the clam is at a shallower depth. And necking, when a clam neck sticks up as a wave recedes, forming a V. Usually, the larger the show, the larger the clam. Here, a small show produces a small clam like this while a larger show will usually produce a larger clam like this. To dig a razor clam with a shovel, use a specialized clam shovel with a long, narrow, slightly curved blade. This tool is better suited for digging in hard, wet sand than a standard garden shovel. If you don't own a shovel, you may rent one, and it is legal for diggers to share a shovel. To begin, locate the clam show. 
Position the shovel blade about four to six inches on the ocean side of the show and keep the blade nearly vertical. By putting a hand here on the throat of the shovel, then dropping down to one knee, body weight will do most of the work. Push the blade straight down and pull the handle toward you just enough to break the suction. Caution, do not pull the handle all the way back. That will cause the curved blade to break the clamshell as illustrated here. After breaking the suction, lift the sand up and forward, keeping the blade as vertical as possible. Do the same thing again two or three times, possibly more, depending on the depth of the clam. If the clam is deep, use a hand to retrieve it, but don't try to pull it out by the neck. Scrape away the soft sand along the hinge side of the clam. Usually, this can be done easily. But caution, don't be too hasty as the shell is sharp and can gash a finger. When surf digging, speed is of the essence. Clams are shallowest in the surf and can dig fastest in the fluid soft sand. Take one or two quick scoops, then reach in behind the shovel to retrieve the clam. When using a clam tube, dig in the drier sand. Trying to dig in the surf is usually unsuccessful. It is hard to get the required suction in the surf to lift out the sand. And if you do get a clam, it may fall back and be washed away with the next incoming wave. Some diggers prefer the tube, others prefer the shovel. You may want to try both and choose the way you find most comfortable. With a tube, begin by locating a suitable show. Face the ocean with the clam show directly in front of you. Center the tube opening around the show and tilt the top of it slightly toward you. This angle approximates the angle at which the clam is naturally found. The hinge is toward the ocean and the clam neck. The top of the clam is angled slightly toward the sand dunes. Work the tube in carefully with a rocking or twisting motion, only six to 10 inches. Next, place a thumb over the vent hole and pull up the sand core. If there is no clam in the core, repeat the same procedure at least two or three more times. is still not visible, reach into the hole with a hand to retrieve the clam. The suction from a short tube may be insufficient, so a hand is easier and more efficient. Do not push the tube into the handles on the first attempt. Pushing the tube in deeply creates a strong suction, making it difficult to remove the large core of sand. Caution, if the tube is off-center or at the wrong angle, it will break the clam. It is also possible to dig razor clams with your bare hands. For ease of digging, choose a show in softer sand and dig on the ocean side of the show. Eliminating the shovel or the tube greatly reduces the possibility of breaking the clam. In checking the holes left on the beach by clam diggers, fisheries personnel often discover that a significant percentage of the holes have discarded or damaged clams left in them. These clams, found discarded by diggers, are perfectly edible, even though they are small or broken. Fisheries patrol officers, either undercover or in uniform, are on the beaches to enforce state law. They may cite violators who are digging without a license, diggers taking more than the legal limit, or people who are wasting clams. It is important to note that as a clam digger, you must keep all clams dug, regardless of size or condition. Violators of state law on razor clam digging are subject to citations and stiff fines. The frequency of discarded clams is shocking. 
Wastage, that is throwing back broken or small clams, has run as high as 133,000 limits or 2 million clams a year. Some fisheries enforcement officers are highly visible on the beach during low tides. They are there not only to deter violators, but to assist diggers with their digging technique and to answer questions. Don't hesitate to approach these officers to ask for help. Fisheries biologists monitor the number of clams being harvested by interviewing diggers as they leave the beach. By determining the average catch per digger, estimates of the total number of clams taken can be made. Cleaning your catch of razor clams can be easy. Like any fresh catch, you should clean clams as soon as possible. There are several techniques for cleaning clams, but with all, the basic aim is to remove the shell, the digestive tract, and the gills, all of the dark parts of the clam. This is a demonstration of staking, one of the easiest and most popular methods. Small or broken clams may be cleaned in this way. Remember, they are perfectly edible. Here, we begin by rinsing off the loose sand. Next, the clams are submerged in boiling water for a few seconds. If you prefer, pouring hot water over the clams will also work. When the shells pop open, immediately put the clams into cold water. Now it will be easy to remove the meat from each shell. Some diggers prefer to cut the clams out of its shell by running a sharp knife along the inside of the shell on both sides, but most find this technique to be easier. When cleaning razor clams, you may find small crabs, pea crabs, or flatworms attached to the inside of the clam. Neither of these affects the quality of the razor clam meat but should be cleaned out and discarded. Most diggers prefer scissors for the next steps, but a sharp knife may be used if you prefer. Snip off the tip of the neck. Then open the body from the base of the foot to the tip of the siphon. You will need to make two cuts on the neck to open both tubes. Next, remove the palps and the paired gills, the dark parts, with one or two cuts. Turn the clam over to remove the gut. you see the gelatin style, which is a digestive enzyme similar to saliva. It should be removed and discarded. Remove the gut with a circular cut or two. Now, slit the digger foot open so it will lie flat. out the small amounts of dark intestines in the foot. Rinse, and you are through. The razor clam meat is ready for preparation or use in your favorite recipe. Now, let's review the two principal digging techniques one more time. The important points to remember in digging with a shovel are one, place the shovel four to six inches on the ocean side of the show. Two, push the shovel blade straight into the sand. Three, don't pry back too far on the handle. And four, use your hand to remove the remaining sand and to retrieve the clam. 
For tube digging, remember these points. One, avoid digging in the surf. Two, face the ocean with the show directly in front of you. Three, center the tube around the show and tilt the top slightly toward you. Remember that if the tube is off center or at the wrong angle, it will break the clam. Four, avoid straining by removing a sand core of only six to 10 inches on each insertion of the tube. And five, use your hand to check the core or to retrieve the clam from the bottom of the hole. However you dig, remember that it is unlawful to throw back small or broken clams. You must keep all the clams you dig and you may not exceed the legal limit. As you dig, please obey state laws and play fair. Razor clams are an important natural resource in Washington State. All diggers must do their part to ensure that razor clams will be here for generations to come.